go ahead and get started here. Uh, joined by Loyola head coach Shane Davis and players Jeff Chendrick and Cody Caldwell. Uh, coach, if you would start us out with an opening statement again. Hey, yeah, it's a good victory for us last night. We feel good about where we are, and we're excited to play the semifinal match tomorrow night versus Irvine. Open it up to questions. Cody, you guys are taking on UC Irvine. You're the defending national champions. Just what's your initial assessment of this upcoming semifinal match? Uh, I'm just really excited to be where we're at, honestly. Um, Thursday is going to be a really fun match, and I know I know a few guys on their team. So, so you know, first and foremost, it's going to be a fun experience, and, uh, and I know we're really excited to, to compete against those guys and, and come out with a W. Yeah. And for you, you know, you grew on up in, in California, Southern California. Is it extra special for you when you play a California team, especially in a magnitude of a match like this? Uh, you know, it, it really just brings back some memories, honestly, of playing with with some of the guys that I did. Uh, you know, I don't get the opportunity to. Uh, to do that, you know, the way I used to. So yeah, I mean, it's different. It's different. It's nothing special, but it's fun to play against those guys that I used to. For both you guys, what did winning last year do? Not only carrying over into the season, but like right now that you've been there and you've done that. Well, uh, we've got you know plenty of guys who have been on the squad who, who did that, you know, and who had that experience, which makes us more comfortable, much more comfortable right now that we know that we can go all the way and we can do it. And you know that sense of can we do it? It's not there anymore. We've, we've done it. So so we know that feeling and we know what we need to do. So that's huge. And you know, uh, we've got three freshman starters who came out here and got some experience last night in this tournament, which is which is a completely different experience. So that was huge for us. Jeff? Uh, yeah, uh, saying that, like, uh, we have three uh, freshman starters and for the uh, older guys, they've been really helpful in giving us like advice and just like letting us know that if we mess up, it's okay. Like, just take a deep breath and just play the game how we know how to play. Did what happened in the second match help you last night ultimately? Uh, I think. So, set, I mean. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we definitely got the uh, we definitely got the version of we need to you know keep keep pushing you know and like we can't we have to leave it all on the court. Jeff, looking at UC Irvine, Zach Lockbearer has been playing out of his mind recently. What do you have to do as a blocker to put up a good block against him so he's not getting as many kills yeah. tomorrow night? Uh, basically, just get in front of him and you know use your hands and press as hard as you can. <laughs> Cody, can you talk about your relationship with some of your Irvine guys? Did you play club with some of them? Yeah, I played club with uh, three of their starters, Travis Wilson, Michael Brinkley, and Zach Lockbearer. So, you know, I know the way they play the game. They know how I play. So, you know, it's exciting. It's going to be fun. Do you keep in touch with them at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Slightly. Okay. Uh -huh. Talk today. We did. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we will. Not yet. I, I was gonna to send, just going to send the text out soon <laughs> to them. <laughs> Shane, can I ask you about their Irvine matchup and any particular things you see or concerns you have or strategies you might be willing to? Yeah, I don't think I'll share any strategies yet, but uh, yeah, I think uh, it'll come down to us and our, you know, everybody says a certain pass piece, but uh, we've got to play well. They're a great team, and we need to be on our game tonight. So, yeah. Can I ask you the same question? And, and maybe last night you might have seen it when you were down, um, winning last year. Mm -hmm. any, am I fishing for something that's not there? Or do you think it is there because of winning last year and then being in adverse circumstances and then now getting to this point, carry over? Yeah, I think the carryover is there in terms of, like these guys mentioned, of guys that have been on the big stage. And I think last night's match was so important for us to play it, as much as we probably didn't actually want to play the playing game, but we did. And I think it was great for us just to get the jitters out a little bit. Um, I think when you turn the lights on on a stage like this, it's a lot different than even our, our conference championship. So um, I think it'll pay dividends for, for our rookies and uh, even the guys that are returning as well, just in terms of gelling together and the communication conversations that they're having on the court you know, on a stage like that. Could I ask you to assess the other match since you know both those teams? Um, yeah, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was, I, I don't necessarily know Hawaii that much. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. What's the upcoming match? Oh, the upcoming match. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, with Irvine, I think. Uh, no, 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 the other match. Oh, the Lewis Penn State match. Sorry, I don't know how to focus on that one. Uh, sorry. 
Yeah, the Lewis Penn State match, um, you know, they played twice already with uh, Lewis winning both of those matchups. I thought Penn State played really well last night, and I think they are on um, a good progression moving forward of getting better every single match. Uh, Lewis is a huge blocking team, a blocking D. They know how to point score. They keep the ball on you. They make you play volleyball. So if Penn State can serve and, and pass and hopefully keep in system uh, and keep that pressure on their, their back pin with Goodell, I think they're in a, a really good spot. And it's, it's tough to beat a team three, t uh, three times in a year. But I think it's going to be a pretty big battle um, tomorrow night as well. And we'll see. Shane, every coach that I talk to when when you're playing them, they always say to beat you guys, they have to serve aggressively. So from that standpoint, how do you prepare your team going to a match knowing that you're going to face a really aggressive serving team? Yeah, I think um, I think we have uh, pretty good passers in, in, in our serve receive, but I think Chris Burson our assistant coach. Is, he does a great job of analyzing every single server, and there's just video on top of video of each guy. And he breaks down every single guy with our um, with our serve receive, and so I think we're, we've done our homework. And uh, you've got to serve us really tough, and you've got to serve our seams really tough, or else we'll be in system most of the night. Shane, can I ask you about Cody and his role as a senior, and just kind of his evolution in the program, and then more specifically this year, what he's met with some of the younger guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just started off when we were first recruiting Cody. Uh, you know, he's the number one player in the country, you know, and so it was it was a huge get for us uh, as a university and as a program. And, you know, once we signed Cody, it was a month later is when we put the bid in for 2014. And we knew once we got Cody, we're those other recruits, those type of guys, those blue chip guys were going to follow. And, uh, it, and they did, and it, and it turned out. So he was the big, uh, big domino for us uh, as a program, however many years it's been already. But... Um, He's, uh, he's been great. He's been kind of a, a rock for us. He's um, a good senior leadership. He's one of our captains now. He just, uh, he's a tremendous athlete, tremendous guy uh, on and off the court. And so he, he means a lot to our program, means a lot to the, the young guys. And I'm um, pretty proud of where he is uh, today. Can you be more specific about his skill set, what he brings on the court? Yeah, I think uh, just his knowledge of the game, his IQ, uh, situational stuff. I think he knows what's going on most of the time. He can um, plan ahead and uh, what the other team is doing. Uh, and just his, I mean, he won, I think, 16 Open, 18 Open. He was tournament MVP each of those years. He was a national championship MVP last year. The kid knows how to win. Uh, so I think that's a, a big piece as well uh, on, on our team. And the guys feed off of that, too. They know, they feel comfortable, they feel confident. Uh, when Cody's feeling good, we're all feeling good as well. Cody, can you just talk about your time in, at Loyola and, and uh, looking back on that decision you made to venture east? Yeah, uh, it's the best decision I ever made in my life. Um, and the, the craziest part about it is just watching where this program was when I came in and, and where it is now, you know, a complete 180 turn. And, uh, you know, I'd like to think that I, I contributed to that. And uh, it's just been an amazing experience with the guys I've played with and, you know, the guys we continue to bring in. And, and this program's just doing great things right now. And I'm, I'm just so fortunate that I was able to be a part of that. Cody, we usually don't see many top California recruits go leave California and go to the Midwest. What was the reaction from just some of your club dates, you know, five, six years ago when you told them, hey, I'm going to Loyola in Chicago and not staying in California? Uh, well, they didn't think I'd, we would be where we are now, for sure. <laughs> you know, and I, I, you know, I wasn't sure either, obviously. But, uh, you know, where I grew up is, is a little bit of a bubble. And, uh, and I made the decision to get out of there, partially because of volleyball, partially because just, you know, some other things that I wanted to do. And, you know, everything worked out. <laughs> you cool with the big domino? You want to that anything on? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, add it onto the list. <laughs> what, what's, what else is on the list? Uh, yeah, there is, there is. It's a little private, though. There are teams. <laughs> Team inside jokes. We're gonna keep those okay. with us. <laughs> Shane, really quick, if you guys were to win and beat UC Ryan, it would set up the first ever NCAA finals match against two non-West Coast schools. What would that mean for you and just as 
for in general to see potentially Amoeba versus Amoeba matchup or Amoeba versus Eva matchup in the finals? Yeah, I think it just says a lot about, you know, if it's Amoeba versus Amoeba, it says a lot about our conference, but I think it just also just a lot about the balance throughout the country of the teams. And, like, you know, Cody's an example of just players not necessarily stay, staying home. They're venturing out, and Southern Cal kids are, are moving out east a little bit and checking out some other options. And, you know, you can always go back home. So uh, it's uh, I think it's it's a good parity for, for men's volleyball, and it's a good thing. Cody, final question for me. I know fans have asked me on this on social media, so I want to ask you, when did you decide to go with a headband, playing uh, playing with a headband on the court? Is it just style, or is there actual function to it? There is actual function. That's, that's the only reason I wear it. Uh, I get a lot of sweat on my forehead, and that prevents that from going into my eyes. So there's there's your answer. That's all you read. Sweat on forehead. <laughs> Any more questions? One more for Cody. Uh, being in Cali this year, do you have a little more of a, a more of a posse in the stands, or? Uh, slightly, slightly. You know, some friends and family that I know from the area, but uh, not too much more because everyone else is eight hours south. So. All right, I got next one. Talk about what an influence he's been on you. Yeah, uh, he's been a huge influence, especially uh, on uh, on the court. Just uh, his volleyball IQ has been so helpful to us, uh, including the freshmen as well as myself. Um, just knowing if uh, one of like uh, during a play, like if the outside hitter's down, you know, and he's just gonna shift over, he can like give us that intel and saying, "Hey, the outside hitter's down, you gotta shift over." So. His volleyball IQ has been uh, very beneficial uh, for all the freshmen. Good. Thanks, guys. Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.